Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is a review of the new user features contained within the 6.8 release of Axis Camera Station Pro. In this release, we have introduced the new Secure Remote Access Service version 2. The Secure Remote Access Service can be used to securely connect to remote servers without the need for complex network configurations. This new version will replace the existing version which is planned to be end of life in September this year. Users who use the Secure Remote Access Service are advised to start migrating to this new version. The new version uses updated technology which improves both performance and security. The service also introduces greater control and improved management when granting and removing access to users. A comprehensive video is available discussing the service in more depth and highlighting the steps required to enable the new version. A link to this video can be found in this video's description. In this release, a new client function has been introduced, Data Saving Mode. This function can be used to reduce the amount of data transmitted when there is no operator activity. The default setting, Remote Access Only, will change the quality to low on all video streams that are being streamed using the Secure Remote Access service if the user has been inactive for over five minutes. This setting can also be changed to be always on, which will change the quality to low for all connections after inactivity, and also turned off if data saving is not required. An exciting feature associated with our built-in access control solution and our mobile app is the ability for administrators to interact with access control doors. Access can be remotely granted, as well as the ability to unlock and lock the door. A door can even be placed into lockdown. The door status is easily observed and updates when the door status changes. A number of improvements have been made to the Data Insights dashboard and support is now included for the Axis P8815-2 3D people counter. The data is shown in an in and out counting dashboard. Note that when using Access Object Analytics crossline counting, the data will also be displayed in this same dashboard. Improvements have been made to the display of data and the amount per hour and total by hour graphs have been replaced by more intuitive versions and both data displays are interactive for easier time range selection, we have also added the possibility to select current day, week, month and more in the dashboard's time filter. Finally, when enabling motion recording, we will now use Axis Object Analytics in place of Axis Video Motion Detection, which will slowly be phased out. When adding devices with Axis OS greater than 12.4.26, Axis Object Analytics will be used instead of video motion detection. At present, there is not a noticeable difference, but more features will be introduced in future releases. I hope you have found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.